Alright guys, so this is a continuation of my video on part 1 for diagnosing or troubleshooting of this telescopic boom bulb on this one. So right now I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna show you how to change this bulb. I have a new one here. So, okay guys, so, so somebody maybe is thinking why we don't need the troubleshooting. So guys, I already done for troubleshooting. I check this all the wire for continuity test over there goes to your bram that we call this bram secondary computer box so uh, if I'm not mistaken this gray or that that gray socket it's going to your it's going to this bulb of the wire so all the wire is good yeah but it still feel feel during boom bulb calibration so so what tools we need that guys so just only allen 5 millimeter and a small flat screw that's it it's very simple guys to change this one so just only four allen bolt so right now we need to pop up this lock for the socket so using your flat screw okay and pull it's ACPC Okay right, guys, so before you change it to make sure all your wiring or your connection should be good but me I already check everything before I suggest to change this one. Okay? So here you have a four pin. Actually guys you have a four pin so I gonna show you of the wire on this tower tele valve this red it's your signal wire or power power sorry power from your main control box or computer box this block is ground and this two wire on the middle is for from your blam blam secondary computer okay everything i already checked and all the good input output ground signal everything is good so so just only for all involved hey guys so maybe i post this video because i don't have a camera mom this is myself videoing only okay but just only change it's very simple so before you change it guys make sure all the o-ring is already included in the new one seal ring okay check it that first because this is your field back job if somebody is broke or missing yeah it's leaking on the hydraulic this so we need quick quick change it guys so because a lot of oil is flowing in here so so actually my hair is already yeah okay so i need to pause this all right guys so we already removed all bulb so just quick change only so check if the orange is already there so it means it's clean yeah so touch the plunger guys so before we install the new one touch the plunger it's still working so here's the bulb plunger post little bit oh yeah it's mean it's good okay and put the new so Make sure guys the bolt is already there, the o-ring is complete. Okay. Uh-huh. Just like that. Okay. And easy PC. So I don't know guys if how many torque this one but because I didn't check on the manufacturing so for me as long as I can I give this torque okay just only hand tight okay now we're already tight so put back this wiring that's here so this one guys is ignore it just we need a 
like this a plug now because we already put in the wiring so check for the boom calibration again, again guys for the boom valve calibration always put on the ground key ground control on and this one hook up hook up this scanner inside here in the ground control like this and go to the access level always access level to guys so hit enter okay again this one guys on this number your code that's 17233 so read backward okay 33271 33271 Oh back Hit enter Access level 1 Ignore Scroll to the right Looking the calibration, yeah, calibration, hit enter. So, it's there, no? Look the boom bulbs, yeah, that one, boom bulbs. So, hit enter. Calibrate boom bulb, yes, hit enter. Main lip bulbs, wire houses, okay, yes, enter, hit enter. Tower lip bulbs, hit enter. Wire house, tele bulbs, okay, hit enter. So, it's already boom bulbs, main lip calibration on process so main bulb this one guys yeah that's a main bulb and this is your main tele bulb see it's done you already light green splashing now the light is up still on calibration with the green light Wait, wait. <clears throat> Just wait only and it's still on boom bulbs calibration. Oh boom bulbs calibration complete guys. So it's already complete. So if you don't believe believe check on my video part one. Hey guys so it means all good now for the bulb so all the lights is good because the new one is no lights it's a new version but it's, this is the two bulb so actually guys this is a new I just but the there's a factory defect so don't trust if you said brand new sometimes have a problem like this right now Okay, so but because there's a warranty, so yeah, I need to send it back to the manufacturing. Okay, guys, wait you enjoy my video. That's one that I need to troubleshoot on replacing on the telescopic bulb. And have a good day. Thank you.